Welcome back to another review and welcome back to Greg Dennis Reviews. And if you're here for the first time, welcome. I do car related content, car reviews, car launches and everything like that. But today, you're going to be watching the review of the Land Rover Defender. But for those of you that have watched before, you'll probably think, but Greg, you've already reviewed uh, Land Rover Defender, why are you doing it again? Well, you'll notice that there are several headrests back there. That's because this is an eight-seater. This is the Land Rover Defender 130. Yeah, this thing is massive. I've never driven a car that's this big. It's longer than Bucky's in general, like it's longer than double cabs. It's about 5.3 meters in length. I think the only thing that comes close to the length of this car is maybe the Jeep Gladiator, which is already a ridiculous car in its own set. But yeah, this thing is big, it's imposing, but the good thing about it is that it doesn't feel like you're driving a car that's 5.3 meters long. It carries its weight well, it carries itself well, it drives really nicely, and because it's a Land Rover and a Defender, and it's this big, Land Rover knows we need to put some good power up front. And here you've got a turbocharged inline six three liter diesel engine that puts out 221 kilowatts and 650 newton meters of torque. Yeah. And remember how big I said this car is? Well, thanks to that engine, it's going to send this 130 to 100 k's an hour in seven seconds. Oh, okay. Let's calm down. We're in a big, massive SUV. Don't need to be causing trouble. And you didn't think I'd forget about the beauty shots. Let's go. So as I've said, I have already reviewed the Land Rover Defender and I gave it a lot of praise. It's an epic car, it stands out, there's nothing really else out there that's like it. It looks different, it's just got so much curb appeal, it turns heads, it's so, so capable. It's also extremely comfortable and because it's Land Rover and part of that big premium family, that carries through into this cabin. So it's a very premium cabin. You've got full leather as well, but you've also got seats that have got this textural fabric too. So they've taken into account that there's gonna be some wear and tear because you're going off-road, you're in and out of the car, you're throwing things into it. So it needs to be able to take that wear and tear and take a bit of a beating every now and then. But yeah, again, the dashboard is wrapped in leather. There's soft touch materials everywhere. It's got a full premium infotainment system that's got every type of tech and gadget that you need. The only downside to it that I found is that it's a little bit laggy, but it's well equipped and it's got everything that you need and probably more. But built into it is a 360 camera system, so you'll see every single angle of the car. And it's almost like playing a video game or like GTA because you can actually spin it and you can see the car from every single angle around you. Man, people are getting too clever these days. But just so that you know, it doesn't come standard as the eight seater configuration. You can also choose, if you don't want it, to just have a standard five-seater, but then have all of that room back there. So yeah, you can have the biggest boot space in the world if you choose to spec it with five seats. So you don't have to have all eight seats, but if you do, just know that your passengers are going to be very well taken care of because from these back seats all the way to the end, you're gonna have air conditioning for all of them, you're gonna have power outlets for all of them, including the ones at the back there. They've all got USB-Cs. They've got air con, They've got lights, they've each got their own sunroofs, yeah? Even them at the back, they've got some glass there to let some light in. So they've thought about everything, everybody's comfortable, and man, you can go on some big, long family trips in this car. Five adults, very, very comfortably, some kids in the back, or some smaller adults. However you wanna fit or configure people, but you can fit everybody in here. I just felt the fridge turn on. It's got a fridge. With two different cold settings. And tell you, it's very, very cold in there. It's, it even forms like, you can't see it here, but there's, it forms like those crystals inside there, like in like a normal fridge, like it gets frosty. That's great 
for holidays and road trips. But I'll actually turn it off because I don't need it on now. So when it comes to the ride quality and the comfort, it is definitely not impaired because it's the 130. It still drives like a 110 and I think that's the most impressive thing about this particular car is that it handles itself well, it carries the weight perfectly, you've got enough power up there to lug this weight around. It's an absolute dream to drive and man, it turns heads. Everyone I drive past is just looking at this car, they're probably wondering when is it going to end because it just keeps driving past me, I'll never see the back of it. <laughs> But giving that drive quality the extra edge is this car's air suspension. Now, like most Land Rovers, it comes with air suspension. So you're able to lower the car, lower the car, you're able to lower the car, raise the car. Um, and it obviously is going to also change and adapt according to the different drive modes you're in. And if you do select some of the off-road settings and the off-road drive modes through Land Rover's terrain response, then depending on which one you choose, it'll also decide if the car needs to be higher or lower. But man, you can also slam this car down if you want to when it's parked. And when the car is turned on, it's automatically going to start up in its lowest setting, which is the, the access height is what they call it. So it's lower when you get in. And as soon as you start driving, it, ri it rises up to its normal driving height. And some other cool tricks with the air suspension, like I've shown in my Range Rover Sport video, is that you are able to also lower the back of the car. So from the boot, there's a button. You can press it and the air suspension drops at the back so that it's a little bit lower for you to either sit on or raise heavier items into the back there so that you don't have to waste too much energy lifting it higher than what's necessary. This is essentially an off-roading hotel. So you can pack people in here, you can pack your luggage, and you can literally go and drive anywhere. I alluded to the different terrain response settings, so wherever you go, the car can even decide what setting you need to be in if you put terrain response into its automatic. Then it will obviously decide what terrain you're on, you are going over rocks, it feels like we're losing traction, maybe you're on sand. So it will affect and change things on the fly as you're driving, which I think is really handy and makes going off-road an absolute breeze. And being able to get that extra height, you aren't really too worried about anything under the car because you're able to traverse over literally anything. But yeah, it's ultra bougie in here. You've got black headlining, you've got leather, You've got rivets that just add to the utilitarianism of the car. It's still a Defender, so it needs to be raw at its core. You've got these wooden trims here that also stand out. I think it's quite cool to see these against everything that's black. It just makes the center console and these door handles pop that little bit extra. You've also got seats that are heated and cooled. And then looking at the infotainment again, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. And you've also got a function that's going to show you how clean the air is because the car will also purify the air that's coming in here with some special ion technology so it'll show you how horrific the air is outside sometimes especially for cars driving with its exhaust like going onto you which is horrible um, but then it'll show you how clean the air is inside the car too which i think is a little bit of a, a gimmick to show us but i think it's still cool and it's a bit of a flex from a tech point of view from them but all of this is not going to come cheaply so the defender 130 range is around 2 million rand there's various options to choose from, which I'll show on screen here, all of the different derivatives that you can choose, all the way up to even the V8 version. Yeah, and I think that's absolutely badass. A car this big, it sounds like an absolute monster and it can go anywhere. It sounds like the perfect car, as long as you've got a company petrol card, because that feels gonna be horrific. <laughs> so I've changed the audio a little bit now so that you can hear the car in its, all its glory. So, the benefit of a 3 litre inline 6 turbo diesel is that it sounds just as good as how much power it puts out. So there's a lot of grunt there and you can hear it. Sorry about the clanking, let's try this. So here we go, yeah, the speed and sound, speed and sound, <laughs> of the Land Rover Defender 130. Now into sport, just a little bit more acceleration. it carries its weight well it really does the air suspension also keeps the car nice and flat as best that it can so there's not a lot of body roll that happens it's minimal but I think that this air suspension with the amount of work it has to do does very very well and adding on to the versatility of this car from the back 
is that the middle row of seats can also slide forward and backwards so if you need more space at the back there you can also give your passengers in the rear 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 some extra legroom too but you can also put those seats down um, it won't go completely flat but you are still able to get extra room back there and you can shift the seats forward if you need more space too so you can shift and slide and move things around to get your desired space that you need and then onto the verdict in the form of the GDR test so should you get the car should you drive the car or should you go remove it from the list of cars that you're looking at now just like the Defender 110 I'm gonna say go and get this car if you've got the money for it and if you've got the need for an eight-seater off-road luxury premium vehicle then go and buy this Land Rover Defender 130 it's going to impress you with everything that it does and everything that it offers and trust me with the amount of heads that you're going to turn driving this car it's going to pay off in no time okay now if you're looking at getting yourself a Land Rover Defender then go make sure you check on out on changecars.co.za they're a website that sells new and used cars but they pride themselves on service excellence and they only let the best dealers sell cars on their website so they vet every dealer that applies to sell cars on their site and they'll tell you yes or no to make sure that the end customer gets the best value doesn't get messed around or doesn't get taken advantage of and if you've got a written quote on a new car from a dealership that's not on change cars website you can bring it to them and not only will they match it but they'll also beat the quote yeah they'll beat it and if you know absolutely nothing about cars then change cars is the best place to go because not only can you watch reviews read articles and learn more about them but you can also put in what your budget is and they can help you find the best car to suit what you can afford per month so not only will they tell you what you can afford per month but they're also going to showcase a bunch of vehicles that you can choose from that are within your budget and change cars is also a proud partner of greg dennis reviews so thanks for watching another greg dennis review i hope you enjoyed this little short one on the defender 130 and if you want to learn more about the defender in general then go check out my other video i'll also have it linked in the description and if you enjoyed this video please will you drop a like below and if you want to see more videos like this then please make sure that you are subscribed and until then i'll see you in the next one Cheers.